development. We ought to put the side boundaries on the map in terms of a lot of things that we do. Um, but obviously, I can't speak for the county commissioners. Um, certainly, I've encouraged them publicly uh, to look at this as, as an option for them. Uh, whether or not that will happen is, is up to them. But certainly, I think uh, using the city as a role model, I think, and, and the way this was passed and, and the overwhelming support for it um, ought to be a signal to them that you know this is not a controversial issue. This is just basic human fairness. Exactly. On this historic day, what made you sign this and why? Well, I signed it because it's the right thing to do. Um, I, I signed it because, you know, I recognize that there are relationships in this community uh, that, you know, may not look like mine, but they ought to be treated fairly, and those those people ought to have rights uh, to be with their partners um, in critical moments. Um, and to me, this is this is a non-controversial. This is you know nothing other than just treating those relationships with the dignity that they deserve. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I was asked this, and I look at it as a service to our citizens, nothing more, nothing less, to all our citizens, treating everyone the same. And uh, I, the mayor has explained exactly that, that that's exactly what we all are, and that it was so seamless. And I'll tell you, you know, you know when I'm out trying to grow the economy and recruit jobs and recruit companies, employers want to know that their employees are going to be treated fairly because their employees represent you know, the ethnic and demographic mix of this country. And they want to know that if they relocate to Tampa, Florida, um, that their employees are going to be welcomed, that, that this is a community that, that treats everyone with dignity, and that you know, we are a city that celebrates our diversity as a strength. And to me, that is a competitive advantage for me to go out and talk about relocating here, what a great city this is, if we are truly a city that celebrates that diversity and looks at that diversity um, and doesn't demonize people based on ethnicity, orientation, race, creed, religion, but that we celebrate it. Because that makes us different, and that makes us stronger, and that makes us better together. Amen. All right. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. <laughs> you said... <laughs> Start there. <laughs> You said this is still in its you know, early phases as far as planning out logistics. Um, what do the early plans look like? Any, uh, any idea at all? Uh, well, it's, it's more of the process, um, setting up the process in the clerk's office, you know, uh, setting up the, the forms that would be required. We're going to model this largely after what was passed in Orlando. Um, so it, it shouldn't be a difficult process, but we want to make sure that we dot every I and cross every T and that we make it as easy for people to register as possible. Um, and that we spread the word to employers and to places like hospitals that this registry exists and that it should be recognized. And so, um, you know, it, it's not going to be difficult. You know, that much I can promise you. This is, this is a fairly simple thing to do as, as by comparison to other things around here. <laughs> and I'm all about uh, getting you through the permitting process quickly. Whether it's for a, <laughs> a high-rise or whether it's for a uh, <laughs> registry. <laughs> Speed to market is good. 